common house is, and then we'll talk about what, what I hear about and what the streets are saying. Yeah, I mean, at our core is we really want to build community, and um, we want to create a club experience, downtown club experience that is really inclusive, that's really diverse, that um, brings people together from all walks of life and all parts of Richmond. And, um, and we want to make it so that it's accessible, affordable. Um, it's all about bringing people together. It's, an, it's a beautiful building. Um, it's, you know, five stories. We got a screening room. We got full restaurant and bar and library and billiards. And we got a rooftop pool and we got co work space. And so it's really anything you'd need on a day to day basis. But we also have tons of programming from lectures to cooking classes to concerts that, you know, it's about bringing people together and um, and really, hopefully, you know, we all kind of live in our own silos. Yes. You know, and and that um, we hope that this is a facilitator to breaking down some of those silos. And, Give and us it, an idea of the origins of the common house and then and the name, too. Yeah. I mean, so generally speaking, when you think of a private club, it's exclusive. OK. And we or they pride themselves on exclusivity okay. right it's hard to get into or maybe it's really expensive or anything we we really wanted to take a completely different approach that it was like we don't judge you like we we think it's so interesting if you had a, a lawyer and an artist and you know a barista and a venture capitalist or whatever all sitting together having a conversation is more interesting to us than just like one type of person a and common house. Exactly, exactly. And so that's really where the origin of the name came from. And really what how, the origin of the business was, you know, th this isn't a new concept. Social Club's been around forever, okay. right? And and what we, we saw in major markets, we saw this kind of, you know, starting in London and New York and other primary markets, this kind of explosion of, of kind of a new way to belong that's not your stodgy gentleman's club or, or what have you, university club or whatever you want to call it. And um, and my business partner and I had both recently moved back to uh, Charlottesville. Um, he's originally from there. I'd gone to school there. And similar to a lot of Americans, you know, and especially young Americans, like we're moving out of the major markets and we're moving into these these secondary markets like a Richmond of the world or Chattanooga or a Charlotte or wherever. And we're like, we want to be able to raise a family, maybe even take a risk and start a business and, and or do something that is really fulfilling. And so there's a lot of people like us moving here. And we wanted to create a place that brought a lot of those people together, plus, plus the whole community in itself. And so um, when we were both kind of making our life in Charlottesville, um, we we decided to kind of take a risk and and see if there was demand for the product and um so we opened there in 2017 and um and it, and it's been successful and we've always known we were going to come to richmond next oh you knew you were coming to it yeah okay ladies and gentlemen times 114 mike king ben finsgraf here of common house uh so that was the number two so is that was uh, coming out number two? Richmond is, yeah. Okay, so if you'd like to talk to them and get more information, give us a shout, 804-778-8888. I uh, would love to talk to you. So how do you figure the next step? That's the one, uh, where you go next. And also, what is it about the Richmond business community that's so appealing? It's not just a business community. It's a community as a whole of creatives, of business, whether it's the startup community. Richmond's kind of on fire right now. It's a good time to be here. Yes, 100%. So if you look at Char Charlottesville, it's a small town. And really the anchor of our economy, our town, is the university yes. and the healthcare system, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas you look at Richmond, Richmond is so diverse, not just from the population, but from the business, the community. business community and from the, you know, it's the center of government, center of law, you have... For the, you know, for much of this region, if not the state, obviously, and then you have entrepreneurial. You have, I mean, the creative agencies here are some of the best in the world. I didn't know that, and a lot of times, one of the things. So we had uh, a young guy, Stefan Jacob, who's at the Brand Center, mm -hmm. and not really realizing you walk by businesses and things every day, and if you're not in that world, you don't know the impact that that has on the area as a whole, on the world, and the nation. Yeah. Because a lot of things are going on here that if you're not in the business community, you kind of miss it. 
Yeah, yeah. And so there's, and you also have these legacy, enormous companies that are here, you know, throughout. And so that's, that also provides, you know, an anchor to the, the economy. And so you have this kind of diversity of, um, of, you know, economic activity that is really appealing to us because it, in, in turn, it attracts a really diverse group of people who are coming here with all different skill sets. And, um, and we just think that makes for a much more, you know, dynamic, you know, um, potential membership base for us. When we've had folks here before, they talked about some kind of difficulty in uh, doing business in Richmond as opposed to in, in the counties. Did you always know that you were going to go downtown, or did you ever consider other places to have the common house? No, we always would wanted to go downtown. You knew you were going to be downtown. Yeah, it's a certain vibe that's. Yes, and we believe that that's the future of these cities. Is that we're seeing this this exodus of twenty to forty year olds from primary markets, and they're moving to secondary markets, but they're choosing to live in the cities, right. and and we want to be a part of that revitalization. We want to help. We want to help the you know. A lot of the part abroad that we're on has has been, you know, boarded up for most of the businesses for a long right. time. And we wanted, we wanted to help be a part of that um, kind of re rebirth or what, whatever you want to call it. And so uh, that was important to us. When we had Kelly on, Kelly Lemon, shout out to her, uh, with, and some of the folks down at, at the Jackson War Collective, uh, they talked about when if you just rode down and you saw downtown, it just looks boarded up. And you don't realize all of the things that's going on about the type of business that's going on. People are struggling. People are trying to hold on. But businesses keep coming. Businesses keep coming because they realize what's here. You know, it does have a feel of an Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the whole startup community is big. The innovation is big. You know, entrepreneurship. All of those, you know, whether it is uh, investors, too. There's money to be had here if you have good ideas. There is. And one of the things that I saw that I've been just so like I would tell, you know, I've had to raise money to get Common House off the ground. Generally speaking, Charlottesville, Richmond, and we're, we're expanding beyond that as well. But like what I found from the Richmond community is that there are the people that, you know, have money or even a lot of young, you know, middle aged people who've been able to have a successful career, maybe sell a business. They're reinvesting their money in into, the into the community, and they're very focused on, like, let's bring things here that continue to make Richmond better, right? And so our partners in, um, in our project here are the U-Crops, and when we talk to, you know, Ted, Ted is our primary partner. When we talk to him, it's like, well, how many jobs are you going to add, right? Like, how is this going to add to the neighborhood? Like, we chose to do a public-facing restaurant in, in this club. So that it added to the, to the value of the street. Yes, exactly. And that was very important to them. And so it seemed like for me, when we were kind of figuring out the deal, like the last piece of the puzzle was like, how much money could we make? There was like 10 other things above that that were all about Richmond. That's when you know it's the right time and the right partnership. When, oh, the money is the afterthought because it's the impact that you want to make when the, you're talking to the right people. Right. Right. And that's a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, 129 to time. Mike King, Ben Finscraft here. we got to go away for a minute and take a break. We'll be back on the other side. Uh, we'll more with Paul. Then we have Chef Ty. Uh, Chef Ty Nella, there she is. I see you. I see you over there. Uh, we'll be back on the other side. Thanks now. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. Hi, Chef Michelle here of Mama Michelle Cafe, home of the Soul Rolls, located at 10811 Hull Street Road. Give us a call at 804-912-1644 or order online at mamashelves.com. Ask about our off-site catering options as well as our online ordering through Grubhub 
Uber Eats, and DoorDash. Follow us on all social media at Mama Shell's Cafe. That's Mama Shell's, Soul South of the James. Mention Mike on the mic and get a free dessert on us. Special rules apply. Are you tired of dating online? Bloom Matchmaking offers a safe and effective alternative. Every match is vetted and background checked. Bloom Matchmaking offers a personalized experience just for you. Check us out at bloommatchmaking.com or give us a call at 804-205-5063. Let Bloom take the stress out of dating. Mention On the Mic with Mike and receive 20% off. That number again is 804-205-5063. Bloom Matchmaking, where love grows. This is Candace Dion. Make sure you tune into Discussions with Dion every Monday at 2 p.m., where we talk inspiration, motivation, natural health, fitness, and life. You can find me at Dancing with Dion, D I O N, Dancing with Dion.com, and Candace Dion on Facebook and Instagram. Talking about being your best, Discussions with Dion, Mondays on the Mic with Mike, here on WJFN 92.7 and 100.5 FM. Do you want a crystal clear picture of your finances? Dial 804-601-0532 and schedule your free financial review with Crystal Clear Financial Solutions. Find us online at crystalclearfinancialsolutions.com. Mike King isn't a businessman. He's a businessman with his own talk show. On the mic with Mike. The best business radio program in the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. On the mic with Mike, 123 is the time. Mike King here, Ben Finscraft talking Common House and all the things that go along with it. What's the next step for you guys if you want to put it out there for where you guys are going next? So we just announced on um, Friday that we'll open May 6th in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And so um, that's uh, an epic building, epic project. And so we are so excited about it. And uh, so that'll open May 6th. We'll actually start hosting events there in April. And so we've been working on that project for a few years and we're excited to get it open. What was it about Chattanooga that did it for you? You know, honestly, this project was brought to us and we weren't super familiar with Chattanooga okay. at the time like we knew we wanted to go to Richmond next and and then um what did you say when they came and said Chattanooga what did you guys say what <laughs> yeah we, <laughs> we're, a little bit a little bit and uh so we went down there but you know it, like a lot of these uh southeastern cities like mm -hmm. it, it's having a resurgence and and there's um incredible stuff happening there there's great restaurants opening it has a lot of same attributes here in richmond you know it, it's it's a little bit uh smaller but it's uh it's got a a great like it's a growing population it's young and this building was this you know 100 plus year old old ymca that actually hadn't been occupied in 50 years and okay sir a building that's been empty for 50 years <laughs> you guys got to be some visionaries when you look at that and say boy we can make this thing work <laughs> what is, <laughs> what does that take it takes a great partner that's for sure <laughs> yeah you guys got to be in this together like hey do we really want to do this thing because i know the city's glad to have you're like it's been it's been empty for 50 years maybe these guys can help us and yeah, I, I tell you that our building here in, in Richmond wasn't that different. I mean, it had it had apartments in it and um, and it had a, a small creative agency on the first floor. But, you know, the building hadn't been redone in a long time. And it historically was a furniture store. OK. And um, when that area was the primary retail district of of Richmond and. And so there was a ton. I mean, we had a, it was a complete gut renovation here. And so it wasn't that different in Chattanooga and it wasn't that different in Charlottesville. So we really like these historic buildings that, you know, are in the center of the city. And a lot of these places, like especially where we are in Chattanooga and also where we are here in Richmond, is that these are parts of the city that are increasingly becoming more vibrant and growing. They're and, the hub. Yeah. The activity hub. How do you create the buzz? Because before you guys open, the buzz on the streets was common house, common house. You know, hey, you got to get in. 
you're marketing people there do an outstanding job too of getting people getting the word out like increasing the interest explain to our folks how does that happen you know i you know our marketing brand communications team are amazing i i would give and i they would too the credit to the richmonders that bought in early and you mentioned Kelly Lemon earlier. Yeah. You know, she's been on our membership committee from beginning, and I hope she's okay with me saying that. And But, like, we have a you know, 40, 50-person membership committee that we narrowed down from thousands of people in Richmond, and each one of those people is a leader and influencer within their respective communities, and okay. we, let, we let them spread the word. Okay, so you guys also had this uh, one for the young folks here. And we, we, we talked about, you know, the, the younger folks, because maybe some people can't talk a little bit about the, the younger group that you guys said, hey, they're, they're influencers and it makes sense to have them in. Well, they're not just young. Like we, oh, we, really? Yeah. So we, that 40, 50 person group, we want them to be diverse in every way. Gotcha. Okay. From, from age to ethnicity to socioeconomic to where they live, mm -hmm. geographic to where they work. And, and we want them to be influencers within their community and bring those communities into ours. And so um, ultimately they go out to their communities and, and, and they say, hey, I'm, I'm bought into Common House and I want you to you come in. To. And what we tell them is that what this club becomes is completely up to you guys. Gotcha. When folks are here, I always ask them, what gives you hope? What, what gives, gives you me hope? hope? I, you know, I, I look at this generation right now and like we have the large generation in u.s history that's coming up and i i believe that this generation you know wants you know they want social change they want equality they want diversity they want diversity of thought they want you know um inclusion and like all those things i think are what our country needs right now and 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 i think that um that gives me hope from a society perspective um from a business perspective, I do believe that after we get through this COVID um, overhang, I do believe that there's going to be a huge demand for community mm -hmm. and people and socialization and meeting new people. And, um, and I'm excited for that. And I'm excited for that Common House could be a small part of that as well. Well, you guys are, you guys are playing your part. I appreciate you coming in. How can people find you? Uh, commonhouse.com. Um, we have we have a number of different Instagram handles from Common House to Common House RVA um, and Common House uh, Charlottesville. So um, you can check us out on social media or at our website. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate it. What you guys are doing is outstanding. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Ben for coming in. Up next, we have uh, Chef Ty. And uh, She's going to be here talking about her TV appearances, how to make brands work. She is a brand master when it, when it comes to that. Getting the word out, I'd like to thank uh, Ben and the folks over at Common House that said, uh, oh, you know what? i got to give a shout-out, Al Green. Got to give a shout-out to our man Jay Carpenter and uh, Hanley Watches. We'd like to thank Hanley, the official timepiece. There we go right there. Official to Al can't show you his. Okay, there you go, Al. Official timepiece uh, <laughs> on the mic. It's Mike and uh, Mike King Biz. Up next, Chef Ty, top of the hour, dancing with Dion. As I say, we got to go ahead and pay some bills. The microphone ain't free, plus uh, my grandkids need stuff. We'll be back <laughs> on the other side. Thanks now. <laughs>